So we have a stationary wave which is set up on a string of length L. If the center and the ends of the string are held fixed, so the statement here that they are held fixed. Now all this is telling us is that these are going to be some nodes, so they're going to have zero displacement. What wavelengths, and we're going to denote them as a lambda subscript m, can this stationary wave have? We have a few options here. Okay, now with stationary waves, one of the most useful things that we can do is draw a diagram. Okay, so let's put our drawing skills to the test. And aha, uh -huh, magically we have a diagram that has appeared. However, this question has a catch as it is often the case with pat questions. There's a little statement over here that says that the ends of the um, of the string are held with zero displacement, but also the center as well. So we need to read this really carefully. It says over here that if the center and the ends of the spring are held with zero displacement. So our first harmonic will not be possible. So I'm just going to write over here. Once again, I'm just explaining this in as much detail as possible. So the first harmonic which is normally the case, will not be possible. So will not be possible because we, uh, well, in the first harmonic, we can see that we have an anti note here. However, this point will be fixed. So this harmonic is a no-no. Now let's have a look at our next harmonic, which may actually be possible. And here is our next harmonic. So this is the second harmonic, in this case is the first one that is actually possible. And you can see that it fits all of the required conditions. So we have a node here, we have a node at the center, and we have a node on the, uh, on the other end. So this is a totally possible harmonic. Now in this case, the length is actually equal to the wavelength. So we can just write down that uh, the total length L, so the total length is basically uh, the length from from this end to this end. So shall I just, uh, shall just draw it like that, just to be absolutely clear. This here is L. So L is equal to lambda. Now, because, of, because our equation is in terms of lambda, what I'm going to be writing it is like that, lambda is equal to L. Just as a little side note, because uh, obviously if a question appears once on the pad, it's unlikely to appear in the exactly same form again. However, one very useful thing that I've personally found very useful with stationary waves is that the distance between adjacent nodes, so from N to N, or adjacent anti-nodes, let's say from here to here, is always equal to a half. So half of the wavelength is equal so uh, let me say it again, <laughs> the distance between adjacent nodes is equal to half of the wavelength. Now let's have a look at the next couple of harmonics. So typically the, uh, the next harmonic, which will be normally the third harmonic, will look like this. So we can see that we have one and a half wavelengths within the length. Now this is once again though not possible. The reason for that is because the midpoint should be a node and in this case you can clearly see that this here is an anti-node. So this is not possible, I'm afraid. Okay, so let's have a look at the next harmonic. So this one here was not possible, but this one here, look at that. At the center, we have a node. So in this case, we have, let's see how many wavelengths. We have two complete wavelengths. So we can say that the, wa the, the length is equal to twice the wavelength, which means that the wavelength is going to be equal to L over two. So, wait, hang on a minute. Well, L was equal to the wavelength was possible. Uh, this one here was not possible. And lambda is equal to L over 2 is also possible. 
In fact, this pattern will be continuing. So we know once again that lambda is equal to L is possible. Shall we just take the, the equation and rearrange for lambda? We know that lambda is L over 2 is also possible. Now the next harmonic over here that I've drawn, adding another half a wavelength, well this one here will not be possible because once again we have an antinode in the center. However, the next one along will be possible and if we were to draw that out, we're going to see that this is equal to lambda will be L over 4. So uh, we can pretty clearly see a pattern over here. So the pattern will be that the lambda, in this case, they've just called it lambda n, will be equal to L divided by that integer M. So for instance, lambda 1 is equal to L over 1, which is just equal to L. Lambda 2 is going to equal to the length divided by 2. And uh, yeah, lambda 4 will be equal to L over 4, with uh, the third one not possible uh, because we don't have a node at the center. So in this case, the answer, the correct answer will be B. Okay, folks, well, this was just a quick question on path preparation. Have a look through the links in the description. If you're feeling a little bit rusty about stationary waves, I've included some, uh, just some extra revision on the topic. Best of luck in the exam tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next video.